Hello viewers, this is Khalid Mahmood once again with you a new video. So today we will discuss how to uninstall ArcGIS desktop version. Actually I have to install 10.7. Someone has requested through a private message. So in my laptop right now I have 10.5 ArcGIS desktop version. So I thought I should first make uninstall video. Then later on I will make a fresh video how to install ArcGIS 10.7. So let's get started with the video to uninstall ArcGIS version 10.5. I have already a document so I have three steps. So first of all we should go through this document and then side by side uninstall ArcGIS 10.5 in my laptop. So first of all, we have to go to control panel. We can type here control. In my laptop, I have Windows 10. Mostly people use Windows 10. If you have Windows 7, you can find easily the control panel. Then you have to click on uninstall a program. And then you have to find ArcGIS components. Here we can see ArcGIS desktop. 10.5 and its space is 3.02 GB so we have to select this and then click on uninstall then there will be an option a yes or no you have to select yes and then this process starts so we have to select remove then click no then click remove It will take uh, some time to uh, remove the components and it depends on the uh, the RAM and uh, all configuration of your PC or laptop. Uh, so it is suggested always that for JS systems you should have SSD drive for the installation of your Windows 7, 8 or 10. So if you have your PC uh, and C drive as SSD solid state drive and you have installed Windows and ArcGIS and everything on that SSD drive then it will be much faster than HDD drive so in my uh, other video you can see the link in the description best laptops for GIS I have recommended that and you guys should have SSD drive as a C drive to install your Windows and to install your GIS uh, softwares and other softwares so the performance of all the softwares and all the tools and all the machine will be faster on an SSD drive rather than an HDD drive but here in your PC or laptop you can have two drives one SSD drive on which you will install your Windows and ArcGIS components and on the uh, other drive you can install as a uh, HDD drive yani in your PC or laptop you can have HDD drive to store your data to store your satellite images to, to store your uh, file your databases so as a secondary drive HDD drive is a good option but to have a better performance your C drive should be an SSD drive so here the uninstalling ArcGIS desktop point is going on so it will uninstall all the default components uh, from your PC or uh, laptop so here we have to uh, after uninstallation from this control panel I have further two more steps to do for the complete uninstallation of this tool so hope it will finish soon and then after that my next video will be how to install RKS version 10.7 and I will provide the download link as well in the next video so uh, write down your comments below if you are uh, looking for to download ArcGIS version 10.7 and uh, you can comment uh, below which version of ArcGIS you are using right now 
so i can provide you the download link for this rgs version 10.5 as well because i love this version and mostly i use this version but for the sake of uh, how to install 10.7 i am making this video and i as i have 10.5 version in my pc right now so for the purpose of learning to you guys i am making this video to uninstall 10.5 and then later on i will install rjs version 10.7 so after that i will bring a new video uh, how to install uh, other uh, tools how to deploy rjs enterprise rjs server portal for rjs and a lot of relevant other tools so now the status is going on to remove the files so you have to bear with it or you can uh, just uh, forward the video if you want to save your time actually i don't have video to cut this portion otherwise i will cut this portion if you know any recommended tool available uh, freely or paid uh, through which i can edit uh, the video to skip this uh, sections to save the time for you guys so just write down in the comment below thank you very much so now you can see our guest desktop 10.5 has been successfully uninstalled so you have to click on finish so that's the first step so still we have to do some uh, check some more things to completely uninstall 10.5 let's have a look what are those so we already go to control panel we already selected and install a program and uh, we already uninstall rjs for desktop we already click on remove now the step 2 is manually delete remaining folders after step 1 previously we have completed step 1 now we are going to step number 2 so we have to go to uh, c drive and then go to program files x86 here we go let me start from so here you have to click on this pc and then go to c drive and then go to program files and here you can see this folder exists rgs as mentioned in this document so you have to delete this folder we have deleted that and then later on you can see uh, we have to go to view and then select the hidden items and then go to uh, program data so let's see view we have to again come to windows c and in the view make sure we have checked this hidden items then you will be able to see this program data just double click on it and it says if you found asri folder within this uh, program data folder then you have to delete otherwise uh, move to the next step so let's see if we have asri folder there no we don't have asri folder maybe in your case you can find asri folder in this program data location then you have to delete that uh, folder uh, then you have to go to uh, c drive users we have to go to again c then users and we can see side by side users and this is the uh, the my machine name in my previous video so let's see what is my machine name now it's welcome and then go to let's find of above step so this is the step how to found your account name so you have to go to control panel and then user accounts and family safety and then this is your Uh, system account name. Let's go to the control panel, 
so you can click on user accounts user accounts here you can see this is your machine name that is welcome so you have to click here see users your machine name folder open that and then you can find app data this folder open it and then go to local and here you can find s3 folder here you have to delete that and then you have to go back and then go to roaming folder and here you can find s3 folder as well delete this folder also then you have to restart your pc it's important i will not restart because i can see later on easily so you at this step you have to restart your laptop and then watch the remaining part of the video so this is the important step number three so from your keyboard you have to press window plus r button let me press it window plus r button so this window comes up so for the rest of the video i will show you so in this you have to type reg means registry reg edit so you are going to edit the registry of all the installed tools so you have to type r e g e d i t then press ok then accept yes and here you can see there are many folders so you have to go to h key local machine and then go to software and here you have to find s3 folder if you are not able to find then go to h key users and you can check here also h key current user expand it and then go to software and here you can see this s3 folder so just right click and delete this folder as well so in order to make sure select the first folder and then click right click on it and then click on find and here you can type esri and then find next so it will search all the esri related folders in the installation registry so if you are able to find any esri folder in this uh, search option you have to delete that but make sure that is not your setup esri folder it should be from c drive so here we are not able to find any folder but here you can see in the c uh, here you can see it is written as esri so it means there is something remaining esri so it is in the c drive program files so let's find that c and it says c program files 86 okay then common files and here there is one folder rjs so we have to right click delete this folder and that's it so thank you for watching the uninstallation video if you are new to the channel then consider subscribing so it will give me uh, more uh, any uh, confidence to make more videos it will give me more value to make more videos for you guys to help you for your future related uh, any issues so if you are right now facing any type of rjs related issue write then in the comment below i will try to make video on that thank you very much bye bye have a nice day